If you've been following the channel, then you know that there are several important events that have taken place over the last several weeks and months as far as the Facebook performance bonus and also Facebook and Instagram reels. Now, we all know that reels only exist to combat or compete with TikTok. And we also know that the bonus programs were incentives to get content creators to create content for Facebook and Instagram so that they could keep pace with TikTok, who was absolutely crazy crushing meta at the time being about two years ago but since then we've seen the reels play bonus end and then we saw facebook bring it back as ads on reels and it was a rev share model where you actually got a portion of the ad revenue for the ads that were shown on your reels but then we saw another pause or end of the program only for it to be reinstituted with a different pay model. And this time the pay model was pay-per-view, which I believe is also the new pay model for in-stream ads. And a lot of people aren't happy with the new pay model for in-stream ads or ads on reels. Let me know in the comments what your experience has been with either of those. But in case you missed it, in the last few weeks and months, Facebook and Instagram have been growing at a faster rate than TikTok. And it seems that TikTok has plateaued and is no longer growing, at least not at the rate that it was previously. Now, that's not to say that people are spending more time on Facebook and Instagram because people are still spending more time on TikTok. And there are a lot of reasons they're doing that that I discuss in this video right here that I don't want to get into right now. But another important event that has transpired is that reels are now net revenue positive, according to Mark Zuckerberg in their most recent earnings call. Now, what this means in as simple as terms as possible is that reels now contribute to the overall revenue of the advertising business that Meta runs. And what that means is that mission accomplished. Reels are no longer losing money. Reels are no longer a problem for the news feed. Reels are now contributing to the overall business model. And it appears that they've successfully commoditized another content format, just like Snapchat stories. So that brings us to a very real problem. If reels no longer pose a problem for the news feed, and if reels are no longer losing money, does Facebook have any incentive to invite more people to the performance bonus? And does that leave them with any incentive to invite any more people to the ads on reels program? Because it's been several months now, and I haven't heard of almost anyone being invited to the ads on reels program in recent times. The last I heard, they were testing it on Instagram, but as far as Facebook, where it's predominant and popular, there has been crickets. So if you've been invited to the ads on reels program within the last two months, please let us know in the comments. This way, everyone in this community can be the best informed about these bonus programs and about monetizing their content on meta platforms. Because the way I see it, if Facebook is not going to invite any more people to the ads on reels program because they've quote unquote mission accomplished the thing, then I think that they should move the program from an invite only basis and make it a standard monetization tool. Even now, if you go into your professional dashboard and you go under monetization, you can see that ads on reels is not included with bonuses. It's actually separate so that it appears they're already beginning to treat it like its own individual monetization tool. And the only thing that's left is for them to set eligibility requirements so that people can start earning money for the views that their reels receive. We remember previously that you had to have 100,000 views, five reels, et cetera, et cetera. And I wouldn't be surprised if they moved it to a more stable monetization tool, if they implemented some eligibility requirements very similar to those. And I would also expect that the country eligibility probably would not change as well. But since we learned in this previous video that Facebook values creators as a means to make reels and other content formats successful on Facebook and Instagram, I think it's only right that they make 
ads on reels a standard monetization tool with eligibility requirements to look out for the mental health of their creators so that people are not wondering when they're going to get an invite or how they can get an invite because meta has obviously gotten what it's wanted from us by making reels net revenue positive and also helping them to begin to start outgrowing TikTok. And so if anyone from Meta is listening and you have the ear of the big man, let them know that we would like this to be a standard monetization tool because it absolutely should be. But let me know in the comments, have you been invited to ads on Reels? Do you know anyone who's been invited to ads on Reels within the last two months or basically within 2024? Also, let us know how you feel about the new pay rate for in-stream ads and for ads on Reels in the comments as well. I know that it's going down for many of you, but there are some people telling me that they're finding a lot of success with Reels and in-stream ads, and I want to hear from everybody. So please leave your comments down below so this can be the most well-informed community on YouTube when it comes to social media monetization. Thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.